Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading from my Leos for the week starting July 25th, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can also send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. It would be very appreciative. And thank you for those who have subscribed already. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your private messages. It truly means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you can find me on social media as well. I am on Twitter, Facebook, all the information below the video. And now my Leos, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in the past position this week. We have the Temperance. Some of my Leos will be celebrating their birthday this week, so happy birthday, my Leos. The Temperance is a major arcana, so the energy, even in this position, is very powerful and probably will remain through the week, okay? What we know so far is there was a full moon, okay? Full moon was in Capricorn, and for you, it's your sixth house, okay? So sixth house is about work routine okay it's also the house about health and disease okay so maybe some of you have learned something where you could grow from it you know something that you know during during the last 30 days the sun which is your ruler was in your 12th house so it's a house of things that are hidden but also it represent hospital and um hidden things so now you have come to realize something very important about either yourself or life Okay, or maybe the vision that you have for yourself. There's something where you feel definitely um, guided here, okay, and also protected. And let's see what we have in the position of the near past this week. The Three of Swords, okay. So be mindful here. There's a possibility that you may receive some type of disappointment, maybe a bad news. Okay, because the sun is in your house, this is when the sun is its own house, okay? The sun could also be in its exalted house as well, which is when it's in Aries, but the sun is governed by, um, by Leo. So this is very special. It's a 30-day special um, uh, period for, for you. And here we have the Three of Swords. So you have a lot of... No, you really want to be able to... Be happy, be content in, in your life going forward. You have different ambition for yourself. There may be something that may not be able to be fulfilled right now. I know that I know some of my Leos have been having some hard time. But it's going to change because Jupiter will be in Libra. So it's, it will, you know, it will actually try you. It will be a great energy you'll receive. But here there's some type of disappointment in terms of your communication. Uh, I say that because it's swords, but it could be in different areas of life, okay? And let's see what we have in the position of the future this week. We have the Queen of Pentacles, and she's looking at the Three of Swords, okay? I guess it could be something, because you know, the Queen of Pentacles, she's very logic and rational. So her, she's not in a rush to do something she wants to understand. She wants to make sure and feel secure about her decision. And she's looking at the three of swords. So there could have been something that you maybe had, have expected, but also wished and it just didn't fulfill or could not be fulfilled. Like I said, your, your expectations are high. The sun, are in, the sun is in his house. So you have really high expectation. It could be this, and then it could be a small disappointment here because... Um, you know, like I said here, the Queen of Pentacles, she's all about, you know, making sure that things are, are right and they are real and they are happening. She's not too, you know, controlled by passion and she really is using her, her mind. And here she's looking at the Three of Swords. So there will be something that you will learn. And it could be in your relationship, okay, because it's a number three. It could be about other people, but it could be also about truly. And it could, like I said, be about your, um, you know, how you foresee things, what you want, your, your desires. Maybe you have to review them or there's something that could be delayed. And let's see what we have in a position of the outcome this week. 
we have the ten of rods but I think he's still gonna hold on to it because the ten of rods is about you know having a lot of uh, things to do okay not be able to say no and have something to accomplish is when you're really focused on on a goal and you're willing to do whatever is the necessary to accomplish this goal so there's something that you're you know you're still not willing to let go here it could be good it could be because now you have a view a, a, a potential solution that could give you your desires your wish and even if it's taking you some hard work like you know maybe literally working harder or having less time in, in your hobby or whatever the compromise uh, that needs to do it could be that later this week you decide to go for that compromise because you really want even if you have this vision and understanding you still here is putting some type of burden on you you're still wanting something okay or it could be that you are literally overworking yourself Okay, because there's still something that you know that you want, and this you know, it, there's so many positive energy right now uh, with having the sun uh, in its own environment in Leo. Maybe there will be, maybe you will be able to overcome the challenge, but it will be challenges. There will be challenges, I should say, around based on you know where you are right now. So there's also something that you might have to let go.